Hey everyone, Ryan from Mini Bike Escape, and in this video, we're reviewing the electric bike company Model E, the most affordable electric bike offered by Electric Bike Company. So let's check it out. Before we get into the walk around of the electric bike company Model E, I wanted to let you know of a special discount that electric bike company is giving to e-bike escape viewers. Currently, as I record this, you can save $50 on your purchase. So be sure to check out the link and the discount code in the description below. I will also have links to our electric bike accessories list, our top e-bike brands page, and finally our electric bike discounts code page where I track all of the deals of the electric bike brands that I follow. If you use links in those posts, it helps support e-bike escape. So really appreciate your help and keeping me reviewing electric bikes like this one. With that, let's take a closer look at the electric bike company Model E. Now you will note that there is snow on the ground. I hope that if you're considering this electric bike, hopefully your weather is more beach style uh, friendly because of course this is a beach style cruiser. And the reason Electric Bike Company named this the Model E is because it is priced for everyone. It is actually their economy electric bike, but to be honest with you, it doesn't feel like an economy e-bike at all, in my opinion, especially when you consider the price. This is a very nice electric bike. I've been super impressed by it. And of course, one of the things that makes Electric Bike Company super unique is that they are made and built in the United States, of course, with global materials. And the other thing that is super unique is they ship them on a pallet. Of course, you can pick them up if you live near one of their stores and save on that shipping cost. But one of the cool things is you literally receive this bike on a pallet. It's almost ready to go. You just have to attach the handlebars. Everything is all adjusted and you're good to go. So let's start in the front of the bike. We have Schwalbe Balloon Fat Frank tires. These are 26 by 2.35 inch tires. Really like the styling of these tires, of course. The white sidewalls, the brown matches the aesthetic of the rest of the bike. The bike does come in red and black. Our first choice was actually the red. I thought it would look really sharp, but the white was a close second and they ended up shipping the white one and I was super impressed. I just love, it's such a classy look with this brown tires and white frame. Of course, their frame is also painted in the United States, so much higher quality paint job than you see on some electric bikes. Now with these tires being a little bit wider, they are certainly set up for beach cruising, perhaps on a boardwalk. You also have the reflective sidewall right here like that for increased visibility at night and to match the rest of the aesthetic with this bike. We have the silver spokes as well as the rim. Now their wheels are also built in the United States, something that is super unique. And you can just tell this wheel looks higher quality than I see on many electric bikes. And you can see on the front wheel here, branded electric bike company. And one of the cool things is Electric Bike Company has thought about all the details, even on such an affordable electric bike. You can see they have a valve stem cap here and it's actually clear. So it's not black, it's not going to stand out. Again, they have really thought about everything with this bike. Now, even though this is their most budget-friendly electric bike, you still get hydraulic disc brakes. You can see there we have 180 millimeter rotors, front and rear, increased stopping power compared to 160. And then you have the Bangle hydraulic disc brakes. These feel super nice, no complaints. And of course they came adjusted 
right from that pallet, just rolled it off, didn't have to make any adjustments. That was certainly nice as well. Quick release up front if you ever wanted to remove the front tire. Of course, that quick release is silver as well to match the rest of the aesthetics. Now we do have a rigid front fork and with these wider tires, you can certainly lower the pressure to get a more comfortable ride. And on the electric bike company Model E integrated front and rear lights, this front one is actually pretty bright. Of course, if you're doing lots of riding at night, I always recommend rechargeable external lights. I really like the ones that blink if you're riding in the day to help other motorists see you. One of the things I really appreciated about the Model E is the cable management. Now this is a single speed, so there's less cables up here. You can see the disc brakes and the throttle up here, but they're nicely wrapped and they actually come in here by the head tube. And you can see there's a little square bracket, but all the cables come down into one nice bundle and of course go into the frame on either side. Now what really finishes off the look of the Model E is if you opt for that front basket, because otherwise you just have this square tube. Now I do like the cable management, but some people might not prefer the look of this, so I definitely recommend adding that front basket. It really completes the look. I will be doing a full accessory video. They sent me some of the accessories, so we'll put them on. So be sure to subscribe if you want to see that video. An electric bike company also sells fenders for this bike, painted to match each frame. All right, let's move on to the cockpit here. So we have Electric Bike Company grips, brown grips. Really like these, they look super sharp and they are locking so you don't have to worry about them slipping around over time. As I mentioned earlier, we have the Bangle Aries hydraulic disc brakes. These are super nice. I went down a very steep hill and really put these to the test and they performed just great. Now, since this is a cruiser bike, you of course have these super swept back handlebars going to put you in a very upright riding position. I did opt to add this pro bike tool bell because I feel like a cruiser style electric bike needs a bell. And so you have your controls over here on the left side, very standard power button and then a pedal assist up and down. Let's go ahead and turn that LCD on, electric bike company. And one of the unique things about this electric bike, and they told me it is a safety feature. So right here, you can see that says PAS off. So pedal assist is actually turned off when you turn on this electric bike. So what you need to do is actually hold the down button and that will get rid of pass off. So you can start using your pedal assist, but otherwise when the bike turns on, you just have access to that throttle. So that's something I wish they allowed you to customize. And unfortunately there's no advanced setting to override it. Now also a safety feature on this electric bike is in pedal assist zero, the throttle isn't going to engage. But if I go into pedal assist one here, there's a good look at that display with the bike turned on. And of course, I talk a little bit more about the throttle and riding and pedal assist in my first person riding footage. I do like that this display does show you the wattage. It actually gives you temperature, currently 37 degrees, hopefully a little bit warmer where you live, the voltage on the battery, and then the normal functionality that you have, distance, odometer, and then the miles per hour front and center, average speed, max speed, now, similar to other electric bikes, the way you turn the lights on is just holding that top button and there is an indicator on the screen to let you know that the lights are turned on. Let's move on to the right hand side. Of course, you have a matching grip there and then a right hand thumb throttle. Now they are able to put the thumb throttle on the right side because of course you don't have any shifting on this electric bike. Now, some people prefer the twist throttles. Some people prefer the thumb throttles. I find with these thumb throttles that if you are using the throttle quite a bit, your thumb can get a little bit tired. That's why I personally prefer the twist throttles. On the Electric Bike Company website, they note they decided to go with a thumb throttle versus a twist throttle because they feel like there's a chance if you're lifting this bike onto a curb, grabbing the handlebars, there's a chance you are going to hit the twist throttle and of course potentially crash the bike or get out of control. So I can certainly understand that. Of course, with any electric bike, you definitely wanna understand all the controls and be careful. To go along with those 
swept back handlebars. Electric Bike Company includes a adjustable stem, so you can really adjust this up or down, get these handlebars in a super comfortable position for you. We have the Electric Bike Company branding on the down tube here. In fact, this is a step through bike, of course, super accessible. Established in 2014, so Electric Bike Company has been at this for quite some time. Some additional branding there as well on the C tube. And of course, proudly designed and built in the US with global materials. Now this bike does come with an integrated battery. It's located on the bottom of the down tube here. The keyhole is right here. I'll go ahead and remove the battery. This is a 12 amp hour battery, so plenty of capacity for most use cases. And it pops out of the frame like so. Now the electric bike company Model E does come with a fast charger, so 3.5 amp charger. Definitely going to charge this battery up on the Model E much faster compared to other electric bikes that usually come with two amp chargers. The battery can be charged both on and off the bike. I wouldn't say it's difficult to take out the battery and put it back in, but it is more difficult than the batteries that are located on the top of the frame. Of course, some of those batteries are external, so I definitely like the cleaner look of the battery that is integrated into the frame, but just something to keep in mind. Now, one thing that Electric Bike Company did include on the Model E for me, and it is an additional accessory if you decide to purchase it, is this alarm, which is located back here. They give you a nice branded key fob, and it does have a siren, so you can just hit that. The bike's going to go off. And this alarm is super loud, and of course, you can lock it as well. Hit on the lock button. It's going to notify you that the bike is locked. And then of course, when the bike is locked and I continue to move it, it's going to give me a warning. And if I keep moving it, it's going to alarm very loudly. So that is the additional alarm if you decide to purchase it. I believe it is currently priced at $129. Nice and hidden on the bike. All right, let's talk about the pedals. So they include these nice flat pedals. They look really sharp. In fact, check out those cranks. Just all the components on this bike look really high end. Electric Bike Company did mount the kickstand in the center of the frame. Now, usually I like to see it mounted towards the rear so it's out of the way of the pedals if you're moving your electric bike around. Electric Bike Company did note that they did this to more center the weight when you're loading up with cargo, both on the front and rear. So I can certainly understand that perspective, especially if mounting it to the rear and using that front basket is going to make the bike more tippy. Moving on to the rear of the bike, there are the rear lights that come included on this electric bike. They're pretty bright. They are not actuated by the brakes, so you won't see them go brighter or turn on when you hit the brakes, but I do like these lights. I think they look pretty sharp. And let's talk about this saddle. Really nice, love the brown. Of course, matches the rest of the aesthetics. Super comfortable saddle. I can't imagine most people will want something more comfortable than this. Though if you do want additional comfort, check out our electric bike accessories list. You could upgrade to a suspension seat post if you'd like. That of course is going to make your ride even more comfortable. And here's a look at the rear disc brakes. Here's the motor that comes on the Model E. So it is a MXUS motor. I've actually tried out one of their motors before and have been really impressed. This is a super powerful electric bike. Be sure to check out our hill climb footage to find out just how capable this bike is. They even went with the silver casing on this to match the rest of the bike. If you look at the other color options, they actually go with black. As I mentioned earlier, this is a single speed, so we have 18 teeth in the rear, 56 up front. I actually find the gearing is pretty good on this electric bike. Now this is a cruiser electric bike, so it's meant for cruising, not necessarily meant to get a huge workout, go at a leisurely pace, but this bike is still plenty capable. In fact, it is capable of reaching up to 25 miles per hour. You'll see that demonstrated in the first person riding footage. Of course, when you get to those higher speeds though, it is a little bit more difficult to provide your own power. But again, are you really going to be riding a cruiser style electric bike at those kind of speeds, especially if you're in an area where there's a lot of people? Here's the motor cable that comes in the rear of the bike. Maybe you would have liked to see some kind of protection here. Usually there's a derailleur guard, but of course this is a little bit exposed. Now with the single speed, there's no slack here on the chain, so you don't need to worry about this area of the frame. 
Now, if you do want gears on the Model E, you can opt for a rear derailleur. So check that out. You can customize this electric bike exactly how you want it. Like many electric bikes in this price range, the pedal assist is cadence based. And I just wanna share this front chain ring because it just looks absolutely beautiful. Such a high quality component. Just the overall look of this electric bike is just fantastic. I am super impressed, especially when you consider the price range. Okay, that concludes the walk around of the electric bike company, Model E. Now let's get to some riding footage. I'll go in the various pedal assist modes, show you throttle only, and then I'll do the big hill climb test. Okay, here we go with the first person riding footage on the Model E. And it feels a little bit weird to be doing a throttle only, going uh, high speeds on this electric bike. It does go up to 25 miles per hour, which I will demonstrate, uh, but just feels a little bit weird on this uh, kind of beach cruiser style electric bike. It's uh, not necessarily a frame geometry design for uh, high speeds, but hey, it has a thousand watt peak motor. So uh, who am I to say? how fast you want to go or how much power you want. All right, with that, we're going to do throttle only. This will take us up to 20 miles per hour. So I will just show you how fast it's able to do that. I've got the GPS speed here on my phone and you might even be able to see this nice display uh, that electric bike company includes. And just to note, you do need to be in the highest pedal assist to get the most out of the motor. So the uh, throttle, differs based off of what pedal assist mode you're in and i will showcase that as well all right with that here we go throttle only three two one throttle 10 13 17 20 there's 20. so it's a class 2 electric bike with the throttle cutting out at 20 miles an hour let's go ahead and go into pedal assist four still holding the throttle that still looks uh looks like it's going to keep us at 18 maybe 19. let's go ahead and go into third pedal assist throttle this is nice as it can if you do plan to use the throttle obviously it's nice to if you don't want to have all of that motor because it is powerful so pedal assist three going to give you 15 miles an hour with throttle only let's go ahead and go down to two down to 14, 13, let's go ahead and go down to one, and now we're going down to 10 miles an hour, looks like. All right, let's actually turn the pedal assist off or going to pedal assist zero, I should say. And uh, one of the questions that I get a lot, uh, can you pedal this electric bike with no assist? And being that this is a beach cruiser, I assume you're gonna be taking it on flat trails and paths and things like that. And if I'm not mistaken, it's a 56 tooth up front, 18 in the rear. So it is a single speed, as I discussed earlier but I'm doing a pretty leisurely pace here and I'm going about 10, 11 miles an hour. Uh, hills are gonna be a significant challenge, of course, with that single gear. Um, but let's go ahead now and actually go into the various pedal assist modes. Go into pedal assist one and we'll see what we get. I'm just gonna use a little throttle to get started. So pedal assist one, and obviously I don't need to worry about shifting. Looks like 10 miles an hour or so, 11, 12, all right. And I would say I'm pedaling at a pretty leisurely cadence, not putting in a, a lot of effort. Though of course I could push harder if I wanted to. Let's go ahead and go into pedal assist two here, see what that gets us to. Seems like a very smooth, I didn't feel a ton of extra power there. And it looks like I'm only going about 13. Let's go ahead and go into pedal assist three. 
see what we get. Definitely feel it a little bit more there. 14, maybe even 15. All right, let's go ahead and go to pedal assist four. And it says I'm using about 200 watts right now. Sixteen, seventeen miles an hour. I'm gonna turn right at the stop sign and we'll max this thing out. Here we go. Pedal assist five. And from a standstill, you really feel the motor kick in. There's uh, 20 miles an hour, I believe, yep. <laughs> and uh, I would say gearing wise, I mean, I'm going 25, 26 miles an hour and I really have to try to provide my own effort. There's 27, 28 miles an hour on a beach cruiser. So as far as the gearing goes, I mean, you can obviously reach high speeds, but you're not gonna be providing a lot of your own power. Let's just go into pedal assist four. I'm gonna slow down a little bit here. So I imagine most people are gonna be using this on the lower pedal assist settings. Even in pedal assist four at 20 miles an hour, I kind of have to work to provide my own effort. Not that it's impossible, but I have to imagine the demographic that this bike is tailored to and the location where those folks are located. It'll be a much slower paced electric bike, which is totally fine. All right, with that, let's get to the hill climb test. This is gonna be a fun one, maybe even a little bit of a goofy hill climb test, but I'm gonna do it. Here we are at the hill climb test. This is the hill that I take up all the electric bikes that I review so you can compare them side by side. The first test that we do is throttle only, and then I go through the various pedal assist modes and give you a sense of what it's like to pedal up this hill. We will put on the screen the stats of this hill because the GoPro makes it look much smaller than it is. And I'm gonna go on a limb here and say this is going to be the fastest any beach cruiser uh, has made it to the top of this hill, the fastest. Of course, I live in Wisconsin and we are far away from any ocean. Though as it's cooling off, I kind of wish I could go to the beach right now. <laughs> All right, pedal assist five, which obviously equates to the throttle. And uh, we're going 20. Uh, it's using about 450 watts or so, 500 watts it looks like. And I don't think this thing is gonna have any problem doing this hill. 800 watts, 870. Looks like it's peaking just at under uh, 900. Battery showing 75%. Going about 15 miles an hour, it looks like. And I think that's gonna be the lowest that we get to. This motor is just plenty capable, especially for a style of this electric bike. Being that it is a beach cruiser. Yeah, 15, 16 miles an hour, no problem. So that is pretty fun. Super fast beach cruiser, most affordable model from electric bike company. All right, with that, I'm gonna zip back down this hill and uh, we'll take it up the hill while pedaling. Okay, here we are at the bottom of the hill. I'm just gonna give myself just a little bit of throttle to get going with the single speed gearing. And obviously no shifting, so I'm just gonna be changing pedal sys and uh, definitely getting a workout already. 
if I was wanting to pedal up this hill, definitely need to go up to pedal assist too. Just did that. Went about nine miles an hour now. And uh, I think I need to go up again here. Going about 10, still putting in quite a bit of effort here. Motor is only using 250 or so watts. And I'm gonna go ahead and go into pedal assist four. Using about 360, 370. And I think if I go into pedal assist five here, there we go. <laughs> this is, it seems like there is a big jump from four to five where four is maybe giving you 60 or somewhere around there percent. And then five is just giving you all the power, getting close to that 900 watts and yeah, going 17 miles an hour. It's just no problem. And I am able to uh, provide some of my effort some of my own effort rather. I did see uh, 900 watts there, just over 900, 15, 16 miles an hour. So yes, this bike will handle hills, no problem. Don't worry about the single speed gearing because you can always throttle up. I can't imagine many people considering this electric bike are going to live by huge hills anyway, maybe I'm wrong, but. All right, with that, let's get to some third person riding footage and I will give you my final thoughts on the electric bike company Model E. As you're watching this footage, pretend I'm riding on a boardwalk with a nice beach backdrop, sun shining with people outside enjoying the nice weather. Pretend you can't see my eyes watering from the wind due to traveling at high speeds on a cruiser electric bike. As I was riding this around, I couldn't help but feel that this bike was a bit out of place for the time of year here in Wisconsin. What gets me excited about the electric bike company Model E is that you can get a high quality, built in the US e-bike for truly a great price. Speaking of price, the Model E is currently priced at $14.99. With shipping, you're looking at an additional $199 for a total of just under $1,700. Now while most e-bikes these days offer free shipping, keep in mind that the Model E arrives nearly fully assembled. This means less chance of damage and most people should be able to tighten down the stem bolt and move the handlebars into position. If not, a bike shop should be willing to do this last step for an affordable price. When you factor in a professional assembly after you receive a different brand's boxed e-bike that needs to be assembled, the shipping cost from electric bike company is almost a wash. Most bike shops will charge between $100 and $200 to assemble an e-bike. If you want front suspension or a different look, there are plenty of other cruiser models that electric bike company offers, and on these other models, you can customize the paint job exactly to your liking. But I have to imagine the Model E with its step-through frame will become a popular model, if not the most popular one for Electric Bike Company. Electric Bike Company, or EBC, notes a range of up to 50 miles, though that's going to be under ideal conditions. The 30 to 40 mile range is more accurate for those using some assist as well as pedaling. And of course, less if you're going to exclusively throttle around town. The 1000 watt peak motor might be a bit overkill on this bike, but it's always nice to have a bit more than needed. And I love the fact that EBC went with hydraulic disc brakes. This is what really puts the bike over the edge for me and is why I am enthusiastically recommending it. You also get the supercharger, locking grips, color LCD, nicely integrated lights, a plush seat, and the awesome looking Schwalbe Fat Frank Cruiser tires. And one thing that's neat about EBC is the ability to customize your e-bike to your liking. For the Model E, this includes the option for a seven speed derailleur, fenders, upgraded battery, front basket, rear rack, GPS tracker, and you can also add some extras such as a lock, helmet, or even an extra two-year warranty on top of the two-year warranty that they offer on their battery and motor. While I'm not aware of anyone that has tested this warranty, it's worth mentioning that most e-bike companies only include a one-year warranty. I think the single speed gearing works perfect on the Model E, especially with the powerful motor, but I'd definitely opt for the front basket and perhaps even the matching fenders. Stay tuned for the accessory video that we'll do in the coming weeks. 
The bottom line with the Model E is that if you're looking for a cruiser e-bike, this one has to be on the list. I'm sold on EBC's quality and they're built in America e-bikes. My only hope is they expand to other styles of e-bikes so they can reach an even greater audience. Again, if you're interested in purchasing the Model E, check out my discount code in the description below, other resources as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.